Welcome to the tutorial on how to use tags in Linked Helper. Tagging is a convenient way to group and sort your profiles on the basis of common criteria. Keep watching to learn how it works. Let's start by enabling the Tagging System plugin in your account. Navigate to the Plugin Store menu and the CRM tab Find the Tagging System plugin and click on the Install button. You can also find the Tagging System plugin in the settings of any action under More Plugins. Once the plugin is installed, the Tags option will appear in every action settings. To add tags, select profiles you want to tag and click on this button. Type your desired tag name or choose from the existing ones. Also, if you open a Profiles card, you can add a tag in this dedicated field. Or tag while browsing a Profiles page on LinkedIn. if this profile is already in Linked Helper CRM. You can remove tags from profiles the same way as adding them. Just select the profiles and click on the Tag button. Now remove the tag by clicking on the X button and save. Though removing tags from all profiles doesn't also remove this tag from Linked Helper. Tags enable easy sorting and management of profiles in the CRM. Simply select the desired tag as a search filter to view profiles with specific tags. For example, let's find those with Marketing Services tag. Once filtered, you can download a list of them or add them to a campaign. You can also filter by several tags. Let's say I'd like to find profiles who work in the marketing services and already accepted my connection request. Or vice versa, those who haven't accepted my invitation yet. In this case, I need to use without tags filter and select the accepted tag here, while leaving the marketing services tag in the with tags filter. Here is also a profile who received the first follow-up. Let's remove such profiles from the display as well. One useful application of tagging is to label profiles with industry information, especially since LinkedIn removed the ability to scrape this data from basic LinkedIn. It's only possible with Sales Navigator subscription now. But there is a workaround for getting this industry information by means of tags. Create a search request using an industry filter. I'm going to apply marketing services industry. Now let's collect profiles into the campaign queue. Once you've collected enough, go to the queue and assign the tag corresponding to the industry. Now I'm going to change the industry to Advertising Services and collect profiles again. And to tag only these newly collected profiles, firstly we need to filter the queue by without tags and select marketing services. This way we've just removed profiles from the display who work in marketing and now we can tag these who work in advertising with the corresponding tag.
Also, tags come in handy when you need to move contacts from the exclude list back to the campaign's queue. As there is no button similar to return to queue, like in the excluded list, you need to use tags. So, in the exclude list, select contacts to move back to the queue and mark them with a unique tag. I'm going to use back to queue. Now delete these contacts from the exclude list. If you see the message like this, it means some of the selected contacts are in the excluded list of your campaign and you can click the move back to the queue button and these contacts will be moved back to it. As you can see, such profile was returned to the queue. Still, we need to add other previously tagged contacts to the queue from the CRM. Make sure the built-in CRM plugin is installed. After adding contacts to the queue, it's best to remove the tag from them. Open the queue of your campaign, filter contacts by this back to queue tag and click on the tag button. Remove the tag and save. Linked Helper also allows to automate tags addition or deletion for process profiles and it's pretty useful for tracking at which stage of a funnel your profiles are. Let's set automated tags for the invite and follow-up workflow. Profiles that receive a connection request will get an invited tag. Then those who accept will be marked as accepted. while the invited tag will be removed. Set other steps in a similar way. Don't forget to set replied tags. And let's have a look at how Linked Helper will assign these tags automatically. Another case when tags prove beneficial is for creating a global exclude list of profiles. Firstly, let's add profiles you want to be excluded from processing in your account to the exclude list of a campaign. For example, I'm going to exclude those who work in WebFX company as I know that my colleague is reaching out to them. Mm -hmm. 
Once collected, assign the global exclude tag to them. Now let's create a new campaign from which you want to exclude the same profiles. Open the list section, then select the exclude list and click add contacts. As source, select CRM, filter profiles with the global exclude tag. Select these profiles and click add contacts. Now you can add actions to the workflow and add relevant leads. And the final practical way to use tags in Lynch Helper is to assign group IDs when collecting from Sales Navigator Search. When you add profiles to the message to group members action using Groups filter in Sales Navigator, the group ID is not automatically assigned to profiles, but it's a must for this action. This is where tags come in handy. Go to the queue with collected profiles and assign a tag with the group name or with the group ID as well if you copied it before. Now let's add profiles from another group. After collecting, filter profiles in the queue by without tags and select the name of tag which you used for the first group. In my case, it's Grammar Geeks. Now only profiles from a new group are shown. So let's tag them with their group name, Lion to Lion. Finally, we need to find group IDs and assign them to the corresponding profiles. Using tag filters, it will be pretty easy now.